folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into my Goody Haul report for the first week of June, part 2. Today is uh, Sunday, June 3rd, and uh, this Goody Haul report's more of a supplement or an addition to my previous Goody Haul report that I just posted uh, not less than a day ago. Uh, I was able to find some uh, neat goodies uh, in that one day. And I really wanted to, uh, to get to some of these because uh, I think they're pretty interesting. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and shoot this uh, real quick uh, Goody Haul report to sh share with everyone uh, what I was able to find. Now, uh, today, uh, earlier today, uh, there was a uh, convention, a comic and toy convention here locally in the Sacramento area called SACCON. Uh, they usually hold about uh, four of these per year. And I uh, just recently found out about it, and uh, me and Munchkin Number Two uh, wanted to go, and uh, we left uh, this morning, actually before the conventions had started, just to hit some stores to see uh, uh, what we could find uh, along the way to the convention. And I have here uh, we found these at Target, and uh, earlier in the morning, uh, these are. Uh, basically just DVDs of Batman Begins and uh, Batman The Dark Knight. Now, I, I've been uh, really excited uh, for the upcoming uh, Batman uh, The Dark Knight Rises movie. And uh, I really uh, am uh, on a kick on these uh, on uh, Dark Knight uh, Rises related items. And I picked these up uh, at Target. Uh, I already have these movies, uh, but uh, they're currently in storage and uh, and actually in the back of uh, my storage unit, one of my storage units. And I really did not want to go digging in the, the back of that unit to, to get the movies out. So uh, I saw these. These were really cheap. Uh, this was like $5 and this was like $7. So I think it was just worth to buy these movies again instead of having to go... Uh, digging uh through uh the back of the uh, storage unit because it's a uh, it's a pretty big unit a uh, 10 by 20 unit and it's just uh, a lot of stuff in there and uh especially with the warm weather i really didn't want to go digging through there but uh i was able to find these and i'm uh going to be watching uh, these movies before the dark knight rises comes out and uh, like i said uh, this was five bucks and i think this was seven dollars so $12 uh, for these two movies, uh, I think is worth a repurchase, so that's a really good movie, I, I like them. So. And um, also, uh, we hit up a Toys R Us uh, before attending the convention, and I had uh, some coupons, Toys R Us coupons, uh, that I uh, had about $15 worth of coupons, and I wasn't sure what uh, to use them on. And uh, we browsed the stores, and uh, I was able to find uh, this here. Now, this is the Avengers uh, Mini Mates. And uh, I've always uh, been on the fence on, on the Mini Mates. I thought they always looked uh, kind of neat. And uh, I, uh, I've seen a few videos uh, from Gerhawk and uh, some uh, other folks on the tube. Uh, on uh, various mini mates and I always thought they were pretty interesting but just never really bit the bullet on these and uh, I decided to uh, go ahead and purchase uh, these and I'm thinking I may be addicted to these uh, because these look actually pretty cool and uh, I, I don't even have them out of the package yet but uh, I, I spent some time just looking at these and I thought they were really nice they look to me, similar to the uh, Lego minifigs, uh, but just a little bit bigger and better articulated. And it looks like it has some neat items. And uh, I saw these, uh, these were the movie Avengers, and I thought they were kind of neat. Now this one here is Captain America and Thor. And uh, I was also able to pick up uh, this here, uh, Loki and Nick Fury. So that's kind of cool. And... Uh, also able to pick up Hawkeye and Black Widow and also the uh, 
Iron Man and Hulk. So I pretty much got all of the movie <laughs> Avengers uh, from uh, this particular uh, subline of Mini Mates. And I'm looking forward to uh, taking these out and uh, playing with them and uh, just seeing how uh, good these are. Because uh, they do look pretty nice and uh, I'm, uh, I'm just afraid I may start becoming addicted to it. But uh, I was able to get all uh, four of these and using my $15 uh, coupon uh, pretty much uh, almost half off. Uh, these were about $8 each so uh, came uh, to about $32 minus uh, the $15 coupon so about $17 uh, for this uh, set of four. So I thought it was uh, pretty much uh, worth it and uh, give those a try but I was also able to pick up uh, some other mini mates um, that were I guess on sale or on clearance. Uh, and uh, I think they're older ones, uh, like these here. These are from the X-Men First Class. I was able to pick up Xavier and Shaw and uh, Emma Frost and Havoc. And these were only $5 a piece and uh, pretty dusty too. <laughs> so they were sitting on or hanging off of pegs uh, for quite a while. Uh, so I, I thought they were uh, for 5 bucks uh, each. Uh, but they're uh, kind of neat. Uh, also, I was able to pick up these here. Uh, these are the Thor uh, mini mates from the Thor movie. Uh, your uh, movie Loki. Uh, I guess uh, I got a second Loki now. And Odin. And a civilian Thor and Asgardian guard. So I look forward to uh, taking a look at these as well. And. Uh, these actually do look pretty neat. Uh, little uh, neat uh, little figures that are nicely sculpted. It looks like it also comes uh, with uh, accessories, uh, which is kind of cool. So, I thought those are uh, pretty neat. Now, uh, we did um, get to the con, <laughs> and uh, we, uh, me and Munchkin number two, had a pretty neat time. Now, I didn't get too much, uh, but uh, I had my. Um, Sight set on picking up at least one item and uh, I was able to find it. Um, but uh, like I said, I didn't find much, but uh, what I did find was some pretty neat deals. I was able to find uh, this here. Uh, this is the, oops, that's a little bright there. This is the uh, Fantastic Four Invisible Woman, uh, Power Blast Invisible Woman. Uh, for only five bucks, it was in a, a bin uh, that uh, one of the vendors had. And anything in that tub was five bucks, so uh, me and the munchkin uh, dug through there, and I was able to find uh, this here. Now, I don't think this is the articulated uh, version of the clear uh, Invisible Woman. I think it's just, uh, it's got some swivel shoulders there, but eh, for five bucks, I thought it was pretty neat. And uh, I think it still would go well with the uh, articulated uh, Invisible Woman, uh, the solid Invisible Woman that I have. So I thought that was uh, kind of neat for five bucks. Uh, nice surprise I was able to find uh, in that bin was uh, this one here. And this is the Marvel Legends Mole Man. And uh, I was kind of surprised it was in there because I know this guy uh, goes for a little more than five dollars at other places. And uh, I, s I even uh, looked through the packaging just to make sure everything uh, was there and nothing was uh, missing like the... Um, Ronin uh, build a figure part, but uh, the build a figure parts there. He still has his uh, stick there, and uh, I think pretty much everything is there. So I'm pleasantly surprised to find uh, this for five bucks. Uh, the packaging is a little worn here and there, but I'm uh, not too concerned about packaging there. Now I already have a mole man. I purchased them a loose mole man at uh, Toy Fusion uh, a while back. Or I think it was like 25 bucks. So to see this one here for five bucks is a really neat surprise. So, but uh, yeah, after looking through it, uh, I was not going to let that go uh, for five bucks. Now, finally, uh, at the con, I did find uh, what I was planning to to get uh, if it was there, and it was indeed there. As uh, this right here, the uh, Dark Knight Rises Catwoman figure. And uh, I've been, uh, like I said, on a uh, 
Dark Knight uh, Rise is kind of a kick. Uh, just trying to find the, all of these Movie Master figures and uh, and uh, this Catwoman I've not been able to find at retail at all, and uh, it's actually not that yeah uh, easy to find at least especially in my area. And now I've heard some stories that the Catwoman figure has appeared in uh, stores called Majeers, which I believe is uh in the Midwest, uh, they don't have any here in the, on the West Coast. So, uh, to, uh, the search for the Catwoman was one of my top priorities, and I uh, was able to find this uh, over at the con. Uh, one vendor had it for twenty-five dollars. Uh, I was uh, willing to pay that much money for it. Uh, I it the Catwoman figure may come out uh, later on, uh, more plentiful. Uh, hopefully, it will. Uh, uh, hopefully it's not a harder to find figure in, in uh, the coming weeks, but uh, I, I was willing to pay 25 bucks uh, to have it now, and I really <laughs> wanted to get it now. And uh, I think it's actually a pretty neat figure, um, and I think it's actually worth uh, what I paid for it. Now, uh, my search for Movie Masters stuff uh, has not uh, stopped. Uh, I know that the two of the six figures that ha are, haven't been released yet and uh, will be coming out in July and I think that's uh, due to story plot points I don't think they want to release those two figures until at least the movie's out so I'm gonna continue to keep my out eye out for those I already do have the uh, Gordon figure and the uh, hard to find uh, Alfred Pennyworth figure now uh, my search uh, also uh, is on the hunt for a uh, bat pod uh, figure. I uh, I just uh, found out that there was a bat pod f movie masters bat pod figure f that came out uh, in the Dark Knight series uh, about several years ago. I think it was 2008 when the Dark Knight movie masters came out, and I really want that. Uh, set uh, especially to go uh, with this uh, Batwoman or not Batwoman Catwoman figure and so I'm on the hunt for that and uh, hopefully I can find one that they don't seem to go uh, for very cheap uh, they're uh, pretty uh, pricey uh, but hopefully I can find one uh, soon <laughs> and uh, uh, the hunt uh, continues uh, but uh, this is my uh, quick uh, add-on uh, casual peek into my Goody Hall report for the first uh, week of June of 2012. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.